here the appliance that is given in the image is that of a Jasper jumper. So how do we identify it? Let's have a closer look at Jasper jumper. So Jasper jumper is a mandibular protraction device. So it's a fixed functional appliance. Okay, it's a fixed functional appliance. Which brings about mandibular protraction. Now it is a flexible type of a fixed functional appliance. Okay, why is it flexible? Is because it uses coil springs. So it uses coil springs. Here you can see in the image uh, that the inner, inner working of the Jasper jumper is shown. It consists of coil springs. Now this coil spring is actually covered by a plastic covering for two reasons. First is that it's an open coil spring, so it should not impinge on the soft tissue, so it is given for protection. And secondly, it is given for hygiene, so that uh, food debris does not go and get accumulated between the coil springs. So this covering with plastic, as you can see, appreciate on this image here, this is characteristic of Jasper jumper. Okay, now you see the end of the coil spring uh, ends with a, a stainless steel cap. Okay, here you can see it ends with a stainless steel cap which has a hole in it. So this is what is used to uh, engage it into the, uh, into the arch wire, these holes. So there is an anterior portion and a posterior portion. So the posterior portion is held into the molar tube by using a, a ball pin. So the ball pin goes through this posterior end of the force module and it is engaged into the headgear tube of the molar tube. So a headgear slot of the molar tube. The anterior portion is held into the main arch wire and uh, there is something, another thing that is characteristic is that this Lexin bead. So this is a Lexin bead, which is a plastic bead, which is given in the Jasper jumper to provide an anterior stop. So it provides an anterior stop for the Jasper jumper so that the appliance doesn't go and hit against the uh, brackets and causes rebonding. Okay. So the characteristic features of Jasper jumper is one, it's flexible, it consists of the open coils, uh, consists of these coil springs which bring about the mandibular protraction. Second thing that is uh, important is the plastic covering. Okay, plastic covering and third, legs and bead. Also here you cannot appreciate the uh, posterior portion that much so you can't see the ball pin clearly. But here you can notice that the uh, posterior part of this force module is held inside this headgear tube slot. Okay, so we know that this is a Jasper jumper. Now, how do we differentiate the Jasper jumper from the other appliances which are given in the question that is a herbs or a tube and plunger and a moric spring? Now, a tube and plunger appliance is the same as a herbs appliance because herbs appliance uses a plunger and tube or piston and tube. Okay. Now, this is what a herbs appliance looks like. It's a rigid fixed functional appliance. As uh, we saw, the Jasper jumper was a flexible uh, fixed functional appliance. The herbs is actually a rigid fixed functional because it doesn't consist of any coil. That's why it doesn't even require plastic covering. So these are solid uh, metal tubes into which the plunger. So these are solid metal tubes. The plunger is in... Uh, so this will be the solid tube and the plunger goes within the tube like this. So it's also known as the tube and plunger or the piston and tube appliance. Okay, so this is how it looks. It looks completely different from that for Jasper jumper. Clearly we can identify between the two. Now these are Amoric springs. Now this again, although it is flexible and it is a coil spring like a Jasper jumper, it does not consist of any plastic covering. So it is not covered by plastic. And if you see here, these springs consist of some rings. So these rings are what is used to hold the appliance in place. So they are actually held in place by using ligature. So the a ligature is tied over these rings and the arch wire in which they are engaged. As compared to a Jasper jumper which consisted of a stainless steel cap, uh, end cap which consisted of a hole. Okay, so here this is this looks completely different. So if we know what the characteristic features of each appliance are, we can easily identify them.